Hello and welcome to Field Notes. Today we're going to be talking about mafic versus felsic rocks and what these descriptors mean. First we need to know that these terms are only used to describe igneous rocks and the magma that they come from. And second that these are composition terms, meaning that they're used to describe what the rock is made of. While we might say that a rock is either mafic or felsic, it's important to remember that these are actually just members of a scale. A rock can range anywhere from an ultramafic composition to felsic with an intermediate phase thrown in the middle. Like we said, mafic and felsic deals with composition, specifically how much silica is in the rock. The higher the percentage of silica, the farther towards the felsic end of the spectrum you go. As a general rule, a rock or magma that has a composition of 65% silica or higher is considered felsic. A rock that has 45% or less is considered mafic. That gray area there in the middle is the intermediate composition. Fun tip! The thing we learned day one of classifying these rocks is that if it is dark in color, it's typically mafic, and the lighter in color it is, the more felsic. Now you might be wondering how we got the terms mafic and felsic out of determining silica content. You were? Good. That's that's why we're friends. The words mafic and felsic are actually clues as to what other minerals might be in your rock. Looking at mafic first, the MA stems from magnesium, while the FIC comes from the Latin word for iron. So when looking at a mafic rock, you will typically find magnesium and iron in higher percentages. Moving on to felsic, the FEL actually just comes from feldspar, and the SIC comes from silica because it is found in such high concentrations in felsic rock. So now that we know what mafic and felsic mean, we can look at some examples and where they are found. Most mafic rocks are basalts and is actually what most of the ocean floor is made of. As you may have guessed by that, these are mostly found at mid-ocean ridges. One of the most common felsic rocks is granite and is mostly found on continents. While it seems like we find these in seemingly opposite areas, Volcanoes can have either type of magma. It all depends on where their source is. This wide range of magma compositions definitely affects the way that they erupt. When a mafic volcano erupts, the low silica content reduces the viscosity or the stickiness of the magma. This low viscosity lava tends to flow easier. When you think of a mafic volcano, think about Hawaii's volcanoes. You don't have to run away. <laughs> from an exploding mafic volcano, because it's basically just gonna chill, and it's gonna go slow, you can walk, and you can outrun one. A felsic volcano erupts very differently. <laughs> just like a low silica lava will decrease the viscosity, high silica content makes for very sticky lava. This stickiness causes it not to flow as easy. Instead, this lava will trap air and water and CO2 inside the volcano until it builds up and builds up and builds up and BOOM! explosive eruption. This is exactly what happened when Mount St. Helens exploded in 1980 and that blew off part of the mountain. So remember, mafic and felsic are actually ranges on a scale, not something that it is or isn't. And if something is on a boundary in geology, it's probably called intermediate because we're all horribly clever. So that is all I had for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. Like if you liked, subscribe if you'd like to see more, comment down below with anything, a question or I don't know, what do you guys want to talk about? And I will see you next time. I have a brief announcement. So, announcement sign at the end of the video. I am going to be at VidCon! Yes! So, if you've stuck around to the end of the video, it probably means you might be actually interested in, like, meeting. Do you want to meet? So, I would think it would be really awesome to see some of you guys if any of you are going. I know it's kind of where there's only like 800 of us, so we're kind of a small little tiny community. If you see me and you know who I am, just come up and say hi. I'd love to say hi.